Uh, I would like to talk about today this book here. This is children's book. It's called Amazing Bone by William Steig. This book I uh, um, first read it when my son was a baby and uh, I was uh, uh, you know, renting all their books, children's books and so forth from the library and I found the John Rithgo uh, narrating the video of this book and so you know like a, a videotape and I, I listened to it and I, I fell in love with this particular uh, John Rithgo's uh, reading this particular book with the pictures and everything and uh, um, for example this is about uh, About this this little girl, <laughs> um, it's her, her name is Paul. Paul was a very kind of a optimistic, very um, uh, I don't know, dreaming uh, girl, and she, she was uh, uh, like a almost like a very happy happy girl, and she, you know, after school she kind of watch the bakery, the, you know, and then she watch neighboring people uh, playing and then she just sat down in the forest and uh, oh, how wonderful, she says. And then she hears some noise and uh, uh, she found this bone. And it's, uh, it's a turn out to be like a magic, magical bone. It's a talking bone. And say hello and introduce. And uh, she took took this bone with her and along the way this rascal came out to rob something from her but this particular bone she's carrying said something and so they got scared and they just went away and she was so happy and but when this fox came in and said hello and so the bone said, hey, you know, again, something uh, to deter his attack. But Fox is smart enough to know, you know what is that. And the Fox said, hello, darling, would you like to be my dinner tonight? The particular one question, would you like to be a dinner tonight, is kind of a sexual, right? Very sexual. But matter of fact, he is trying to eat her, right? Okay, and the pearl, there's no uh, flaws, but uh, there's no way she, she can get away from this fox. So she she was like a, taken like this, uh, taken like that, and she was put it in the fox house, and the fox preparing dinner when she was like a trapped in this room and she doesn't know what to do oh, and the fox is preparing the, all the meals uh, so that uh, he can uh, you know, eat her right. so that's the, uh, after that it's like a spoiler so I really love this story it's very suspenseful and this William Stein uh, painted those uh, uh, illustrations himself and it's so so nice and uh, his writing is very kind of a suspenseful and, and uh, urgent right and uh, so I really loved it so uh, the, I bought this one again this year this is a used book of course and uh, um, to give it to my grandson <laughs> so I gave it to him on you know Christmas day as a present and he is a you know less than two years old uh, yet so he doesn't he doesn't know uh, anything much about uh, you know enjoying the, uh, the books this level so he has to wait a little bit longer but uh, I just want to share with you uh, this and the William Steig has a like a Sylvester and a magic pebble that's another book I really love 
and also Dr. De Soro, which is also another book I love. So um, if you go to the YouTube, I think uh, the John Lithgow's uh, narrating uh, picture book is still there, and uh, you want to kick out of it, I think. Okay, bye.